and the third thing i want to plead with you is in 2024 or is it next year the ghanaian government might or will i don't know if it's this year or next we'll be having their general elections presidential elections and i want to beg you to please if i were you stay of the political affairs of your host country especially when you do not have the right to vote if you are eligible to vote it means citizen of ghana right that makes you a ghanaian so it's okay go on ahead but if you are like me even ghana cards i know gets i know if you consider here now they just say i want to begin to make political noise in the name of nigeria is wrong so please be respectful towards other people so i don't want to end up having you featured on my channel hi everyone welcome back and thank you so much for clicking if you are new here you're highly highly welcome my name is lillian and as you know i'm here with the riot act you know that every year has its own resolution and this year we have dropped the last year voltage and we are up to something new <laughs> in this video i want to give my honest i want to sincerely explain some things especially for the nigerian content creators community in ghana this is not because i'm your leader or your ruler or you hold me a thing you do not hold me anything but i feel like we need to have this conversation to avoid things that will affect our mental health as creatives already we are living freely and we are happy in ghana we express our love yeah we do all that we like so please if there is something you see that you want to speak that you're not comfortable with feel free to express yourself but remember that when you make a condescending video about other people that are not of your country like you are a nigerian and you find it fit to speak roughly or just be very disrespectful towards Ghanaians, especially in your videos and you are doing that as a nigerian you are coming um, I mean, as in everybody knows you as a Nigerian and you represent very well. You have stated it that you are a Nigerian and you are giving your opinion on behalf of 300 and something million people. You know, you are giving that opinion representing this number. So remember that when you do that, I may have you featured on my channel and you will not like it. I want you to know that there is difference between being blunt, being bold, and being condescending. When you are bold, you can speak up your mind without fear, even though if you eventually get into trouble anyways, but you already spoken your mind without disrespecting anybody. And you made your point clear regardless of who will be angry or happy about it speak without the fear of favor you don't kiss asses but you are respectful this is where we can officially say welcome to the blonde and bold club do you understand but if you are condescending you come ghana for instance you can't tell them hey now so now they do now food ah, hey, hey, oh, vomit for Nigeria, we know they chop this one or huh, huh, what is this? You carry Nigerian name, attach them. I will address you. I will make a video here addressing, I will analyze that video. So if you want to be condescending, please remember to tell people the part of Nigeria you are from. Because um, a lot of people that are not Nigerians, people that have never been to Nigeria, a lot of people do not know the difference. They do not know that we have diversity in culture in Nigeria. We have so many tribes and languages and we have so many cultures and tradition. We have so many individual differences. We are not nothing. Like we are nothing alike. Nothing. We don't eat the same food. We don't practice the same marital ceremony. We do not do the same naming ceremonies. We do not do the same burial ceremonies. We have our culture. I do not speak your language. You do not have to speak mine. You don't speak mine. You shouldn't even speak. So a lot of people do not know like that. When they see you, you do something. It's going to be on everyone from Nigeria. 
already so this is it to avoid being rejected on my channel because i will feature you and analyze it and i will deny you i will do it with boldness not with condescension i hope you know the difference i will not be condescending i will be bold but you may get hot in the middle so please avoid putting other people down using words that you know you can't take when it's used for you all right when a particular word is used for you you don't like it so don't use it on people just know like that just by that just know that it is not good for others and don't use it for others don't use it on others okay because i will feature you here and the third thing i want to plead with you is in 2024 or is it next year the ghanaian government might or will i don't know if it's this year or next we'll be having their general elections presidential elections and i want to beg you to please if i were you stay of the political affairs of your host country especially when you do not have the right to vote especially if you're a content creator and if you want to do it please do not represent all nigerians okay if you want to go out there and be you know one of the join a political party you want to rally for them you want to campaign for them you want to do all that on your channel please i beg you my brother my sister don't drag the entire Nigerians with you. Don't go in the name of Nigeria. Go there and let them know that the, the leader of your own, <laughs> the leader of the Igwe of your village sent you so that they will know because I will feature you here and I will analyze you. I will analyze my opinion and I will reject you. I will let people know that you, you do not in any ways represent Nigeria. I beg you, stay off the political affairs of your host country, especially when you do not have the right to vote. Don't let anybody use you. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just keep, pray for the country. If you are eligible to vote, uh -huh, that way it means you are an indigenous, I mean, you are a citizen of Ghana, right? That makes you a Ghanaian, so it's okay. Go on ahead. But if you are like me, even Ghana cards, I know gets. I know if you consider here now, they just say I want to begin to make political noise in the name of Nigeria. It's wrong. So please be respectful towards other people. So I don't end up having you featured on my channel. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, because I will do it and your people will come and say, hey, you're doing it. You want to save people up because of money. You, as a content creator, you know that there's no money on YouTube, especially for us that are small con uh, channel. For us that are small channel, they will say, I'm doing it for the views. Uh, lately, they are saying, I'm doing it because I want citizenship. Mm -hmm. Citizenship, Bibao, me, Ghana card. Ghana card will when we say I can use my money to go and do it. I have not been able to afford it. Is this citizenship that I will go for? I'm not looking for citizenship in Ghana. And um, besides, I'm a woman. It's very easy for me to get it. You know that. So it's not by making YouTube videos. If I want, when I get married, if I want today, tomorrow, not be mouth. This year now, I'll get married if I want. Yes, take it to be like bragging. Yeah, but I can actually, if I want, it's just for me to get married this year or next or any day or soon. And automatically, I'll become a Ghanaian. You get it? So I don't have to necessarily do a YouTube video, you know, in favor of Ghana or Ghanaians to get that. So whatever you see me do is for our own good. Everywhere in the world, the world is shutting every almost every country now is closing their borders against us so any country that allows us to be we have to be respectful i'm not saying we should kiss anybody ass but you have to be respectful as you are not kissing ass make sure you don't try to force your ass on others to kiss that is what i called boldness and bluntness so when you try to force people to kiss your ass when you know you can't kiss one it means you are being condescending and this is where 
I will have you display on my screen. Uh, I'll make you a celeb. <laughs> so please avoid it. But you can actually make videos about me, okay? Make videos about me. Tell me. Just point out how you feel. The bad things I do in Ghana. do some feel free to hate. No problem. But don't come and drag the entire country along because I will sit down, make a video and I'll analyze it. I'll have you display it. Your people will come and cry me a river. Cry me a river. Oh, why you put the, that person there? And I know say me an okay. For Nigeria. <laughs> and okay. For Ghana here too. My own is to do the right thing because it's not all the time we'll be blaming our leaders. Small thing, mosquito bites you. Our leaders. Your brother won't be your old boy. He go do people. Then trace and call Nigeria. You go send our leader. Your whatever your whatever whatever bad behavior condescending attitude all manner of you can go put you in charge of a business you ruin it for that person you will carry people's money you will act stupid you will make noise you will violate rules you will do as you like you will go rent an accommodation pack the whole people and fill it turn it into a hotel when they talk you say it's the leaders you blame it on the leaders so please oh I'm begging you for now. I still want to live here until I decide I no longer want to live in Ghana. And even when I'm no longer living in Ghana, I'll still be making videos talking about Ghana if I want. So please make it easy for everybody to live here. Make it easy for the people that are hosting us. Make it easy on us. Because when you do something, people don't know the difference. They don't know that you are from different characteristics of your own in Nigeria. We don't have anything in common. Like me, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm from the bush. Yes, thank you very much. I am. I don't care. Oh, you come and say, yeah, you have my family. You get the money. They you have money. They didn't send you to school. They are wicked. You get it? They didn't teach you good manners. They are wicked. They hate you. So your parents' money means nothing to me. To get it? If your parents are rich and classy, they should give you good training, good education that will make you behave well. I hope that this video is made and I'm done. Because when I go to cry blood, I will, you see that thing you're doing last year. Hey, this one do this or no, this one do this one in Nigeria. The people will think you are representing me. I will come here and display on my screen. Thank you very much. My, mo my most viewed video is not anything to do with nigeria to get it so when you are saying i'm doing it because i hate you cry a river i will still be doing thank you very much for watching this one i'll see you in my next riot act bye <laughs>